Welcome to the devotional for May 23rd. And our theme is the first Adam from the earth, the second Adam from heaven. From 1 Corinthians chapter 15, thus it is written, the first man, Adam, became a living being. The last Adam became a life-giving spirit. But it is not the spiritual that is first, but the natural, and then the spiritual. The first man was from the earth, a man of dust. The second man is from heaven. The first man from the earth, of course, was Adam. And the second Adam, and the second man, is our Lord Jesus Christ. And so Paul teaches the same in Romans chapter 5, comparing Adam, the original Adam in Genesis, to Jesus, the second Adam. Paul writes, Yet death reigned from Adam to Moses, even over those whose sinning was not like the transgression of Adam, who was a type of the one who was to come. But the free gift is not like the trespass. For if many died through one man's trespass, much more have the grace of God and the free gift by the grace of that one man, Jesus Christ, abounded for many. And the free gift is not like the result of that one man's sin. For the judgment following one trespass brought condemnation, but the free gift following many trespasses brought justification. If because of one man's trespass, death reigned through that one man, much more will those who receive the abundance of grace and the free gift of righteousness reign in life through the one man, Jesus Christ. Therefore, as one trespass led to condemnation for all men, so one act of righteousness leads to justification and life for all men. For as by one man's disobedience the many were made sinners, so by the one man's obedience the many will be made righteous. You could summarize the whole life of Jesus as he is the second Adam who comes to undo the curse of the first Adam, fulfilling the law for us and dying in our place. And so we can again walk in the new paradise with the Lord in heaven, the paradise promised in the book of Revelation, and eat again from the tree of life because the second Adam has undone the curse of the first Adam. Look forward to that expectation and glory. Let us pray. O Lord our God, as we recall the obedient life and life-giving death of your Son for our salvation, we pray you to strengthen our faith and make our hearts bold that we may not fear, but address our prayers to you in all humility. For the love of godly things, that we may delight in God's word and walk in his ways, and for the Spirit, that we may be led into all truth and kept from error and false doctrine. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the nation, for those who lead our nation, for the end of the pandemic, for peace among nations, and for an end to terror and violence, that we may work for the common good so that justice may prevail, life be protected, and truth abound. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Hear us in behalf of Jesus Christ, our great high priest, who even now stands before you on our behalf, pleading our cause with his own blood until that day when we are delivered from the changes and chances of this mortal life and stand before you in heaven. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.